بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد صبر على طاعة الله Go ahead and somebody grab this inner tube for me. Allah Taala. Al-sabr or ta'atillah, obedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, as we mentioned in our lectures about taqwa Allah Azza Wa Jal, that there are different types of patience, and taqwa requires patience. To exercise taqwa Allah Azza Wa Jal, it requires being patient. Fasting requires patience. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and, 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 and it leads you to taqwa. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, Kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba alladheena min qablakum la'alakum tatakun. That we have prescribed for you fasting. Similar to the way that we prescribed fasting for those who came before you. La'alakum tatakun. In order that you would uh, attain taqwa. Taqwa Allah azza wa jal. That you would begin to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we mentioned, it is adhering to his, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commandments. Yeah, this way. It's adhering to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commandments, and it's avoiding what he has prohibited. This is taqwa Allah azza wa jal. And as a part of that, when we fast... When we fast, this is exercising a tight, it requires patience. Fasting during the holy month of Ramadan or any other time, it requires patience. It requires patience, of course, restraining yourself from food and drink and those other things that are normally lawful for you. And it requires patience ala ta'atillah. And that you're being patient by adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You could be act, doing acts of disobedience. You could be doing those things which take you away from the remembrance of Allah. But instead, if you're fasting properly and you're trying to remind yourself of the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stay in the remembrance of Allah, your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you, then that requires sabr, it requires patience. And that's patience ala ta'atillah because you're being patient, you're restraining yourself from evil, and you are being patient with the commandment of Allah that, hey, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me with fasting. Kutiba alaykum siyam. Fasting has been prescribed for you. So, by being patient, by adhering to the commandments of Allah, that's a type of patience, and you'll be rewarded for that. And likewise, that sabr. Sabr ala ma'asiyatillah, meaning restraining, being patient and restraining yourself from disobedience to Allah, from sinfulness, this is also a type of sabr. This is also a type of sabr in that it, you refrain from evil, you refrain from evil deeds, you refrain from doing those things which Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, dislikes. You stay away from the sin, you stay away from looking at things you... Unfortunately, perhaps many of us would normally look and involve ourselves in. But when we're fasting, we try extra hard to avoid the muharramat, those things which we uh, might be looking at. For example, some people in their indulgence in the television and, 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 and other things that they witness and look at that when we're fasting, this is an extra time, a time to restrain yourself ta'ala, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's a ni'mah. If Allah favors his slave with that patience, it's a great ni'mah. It's an honor. Because, in fact, most of the creation is not patient. Most people are not patient with the... the... With ta'atillah, wala fi ijtinab ma'asiyatillah. You know, most of the people, they're not patient with the, by being obedient to Allah, nor 
restraining themselves from uh, acts of disobedience. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from every kind of evil.